From the outside, this Wisconsin town seems pretty normal. It's just uh, your typical small town with really, really good people here. There's the diner everyone goes to, one grocery store, and a little downtown. Just about 5,000 people live here. Everybody knows each other. But one thing makes Union Grove stand out. We're kind of the best kept secret. The diner, bank, grocery store, and other small businesses all focus on hiring people with disabilities. How are you today? And my roommate also has disabilities. Um, both of our disabilities don't matter. There's lots of people who live in Union Grove who have disabilities. This didn't happen by chance. Mm -hmm. I love it here. But by design. I want to make this clear, it's not done out of pity or anything like that. It's inspired by Shepherd's College. The three-year school for kids with developmental and intellectual disabilities like me. Students live in dorms, learn how to be independent, and study specific industries to hopefully get a job after graduating. Chop, chop, chop. Students with intellectual and developmental disabilities have unrealized potential. The town of Union Grove has banded together behind a common goal. Give everyone an equal chance. They treat us like normal people. We're just normal people. Our disabilities don't matter. Hi, my name is Rachel Lahrens. I live in Union Grove, Wisconsin, and welcome to my block. I met with Rachel so she could show me Union Grove in Racine County through her eyes and experiences. Everywhere we went and who we talked to was all up to her. There was no script to follow. Welcome to Rachel's Neighborhood. We are walking into Piggly Wiggly in Union Grove. This is where I'm paid. Rachel started in the bakery section and now works as a grocery bagger. Oh, I love it. I love working here. Rachel is a light every day. She's always got a positive attitude. This Piggly Wiggly has hired part-time employees and a dozen interns from Shepherd's College. The school has an 80% job placement rate for graduates. You know, everybody is accustomed to students from Shepherd's College being around. Where are we headed to right now? Country Rose Bakery and Cafe, one of my favorite places to go. We highly recommend it. Country Rose is a community gathering space, and just like Piggly Wiggly, it has hired full-time staff, part-time staff, and dozens of interns from Shepherd's College over the past 14 years. I want to make this clear. It's not done out of pity or anything like that. It's done because they do very well, and they're very productive. It just works really, really well. I don't know what else to say. So she lets the program speak for itself. Hello, my friend Gloria. How are you? Gloria Engdahl graduated from the culinary program at Shepherd's in 2011 and has worked at Country Rose in the bakery department for the past 13 years. I love what I do. Um, the environment is great. Uh, it's a family-run business, but I felt like Shepherd's College prepared me more um, not just occupationally, but for life itself. It helped me to, to live beyond a job by living um, on my own without my parents. And eight years later, I'm actually married to another Shepherd's College student. Too. Along with the culinary program, students can also choose between a technology and horticulture pathway. headed to next? Shepherd's Community Cafe. It's in Community State Bank. Hi guys! Inside the bank is the Shepherd's Community Cafe. It hires alumni like Brianna Beringer. I like making the drinks and being around the people and the atmosphere is fun. Here you go, Annalisa. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. There's some days where I just come over and I'm like, I need a Brianna hug, and I get one. All the drinks here are free. It's a pay what you want system. Majority of the donations are going towards Shepherd's College. We use a portion of the donations to pay for any of the supply costs. 
and everything else goes back to Shepherd's College. We have three alumni from the college here that work on a continual basis, and then throughout the school years we have other students that kind of substitute in. Where are we right now? At Shepherd's College! <laughs> Most of our lives is when we're um, as an adult and we're employed and we're living independently and so we want to provide the same opportunity for our students. About 85 students are enrolled at Shepherd's College. First year students live in the dorms and second and third years live in on-campus apartments. Thanks to Shepherd's College I was able to gain appropriate independence and my parents never thought that this would be where I would be as a 31 year old. And so it helps break down that barrier of, I'm not sure if I want to hire someone who has an intellectual or developmental disability because I'm not sure if they can keep up with industry pace or I'm not sure if they can do the job. But when they have one of our students come in as an intern and they can see them work and they can interact with them, that really opens up doors. And a lot of our students have found employment based on internships that they have done. Before we ended our tour of Union Grove, I had one last question for Rachel. Is there anything else you'd like to say about your community? You've heard from some of the best people here today that Union Grove is one of the best places to live. I love it and so many people, other, other people love it as well. And now you don't have to take my, and now you just don't have to just take my word for it.